good morning everybody i thought it would be nice to sit down and do a little get ready with me because it is hair wash day and i have some bits that i wanted to like chat through use for the first time share with you that i'm loving and i just thought it'd be a nice chilled video i'm also filming this on what can only be described as the hottest day i've ever known <laughs> it is so warm it feels i have a window open it's doing absolutely nothing but it feels like i'm sat in front of a hot dyson fan <laughs> it's so warm um but i am still gonna blow dry my hair because i don't like leaving my hair to air dry this is gonna be an experience this is gonna be warm but i also thought it would be really nice to show you how i'm now styling my shorter hair because one thing that i definitely did think about but had kind of forgotten was that it is actually quite different to style a shorter hairstyle these little bits underneath you can't really do much with and there's obviously less kind of room for error <laughs> so my biggest thing once sam and adam had cut my hair was am i going to be able to restyle it as amazing as they did the answer is no <laughs> but i actually don't mind how i do it it's not like so dissimilar that i hate it um so yeah i just thought it'd be nice to kind of chat you through things i'm loving try some things for the first time and go through a bit of my routine and get ready with me for the hottest day i've ever encountered <laughs> so i'm quickly gonna blow dry my hair because i just want to get this out of the way <laughs> i'm putting it on the cool setting for sure we are not going hot with this <laughs> think the cool setting did me a lot of favors there right i'm just gonna twist my hair out the way so the brushes that i was using are these so i usually use like a paddle brush or my tangle teaser something quite like flat and very plastic <laughs> um with like no extra bristles and um now that i have shorter hair adam um who does my hair with sam suggested i get these he was actually using these on my hair um at a photo shoot last week and i i mean i'm always that person on a shoot where i'm like quizzing the makeup artist being like oh and what did you use here and what have you used there but i do the same thing with adam and sam all the time i'm like what did you use in my hair what what brushes are you using so i actually took a picture of the brush that he was using and he said that something like this when you have shorter hair um that's that's quite like naturally wavy in order to kind of get more of a sleek blow dry you want something that's going to pick up those hairs and using something like a paddle brush or a tangle teaser might not necessarily do that so he suggested this this is the brand ys park i'd personally never heard of this brand before but i just bought these on amazon I feel like being able to give yourself the ultimate at home blow dry is just something so unachievable. <laughs> Sam, if you're watching this, I would love a video <laughs> on how to do it because whenever I watch Sam and Adam blow dry my hair and they kind of get a bit here, I'm like, it's just impossible to do it yourself and hold a hairdryer at the same time and like be able to kind of like do this. But I feel like I'm one step there with the old bristle barrel brush. So new brushes, loving them so far. One of the things that I am currently obsessed with is this shower gel. This is like my third bottle. Um, I actually mentioned this on my Instagram and loads of you replied being like, oh my God, I love it too. Did you know you can get a perfume? Did you know you can get a reed diffuser? Did you know you can get a candle? There are so many ways you can have this scent in your life um so i was clearing out my shower gel drawer and i came across this and i have no recollection of when i bought it or where i bought it from but i was like sniffing them all before i was deciding if i was like am i actually going to use this shower gel I had basically way too many shower gels um or shall i just give this away um so this one i kind of opened and I was like, oh my God, it is 
nostalgia in a bottle i think i just sprayed that all over my face this is nostalgia in a bottle it smells so incredible it smells like the sun cream that you used as a kid on all your summer holidays it's the love sunshine nivea sun scent it's just the best smell and anyone who i've made smell this now uses it in their shower because it's so good so wherever you can find this i think i got this on the savers website um because once i'd used the bottle that i refound i then went on and bought loads more i think it was like a pound <laughs> but it's so good and i then also ordered the perfume which i've been spraying like non-stop reed diffuser which i have downstairs in my toilet <laughs> and a couple of the candles which when it's not so hot i'm really excited to light but even just having it on my bedside table just makes my room smell amazing but yeah i just feel like scent is such a scent is such a powerful sense um and it can instantly transport you to an old memory and that for me does that i love it i love it so much so if you're out and about looking for a new shower gel give this a whiff and it will bring you instant happiness for my shampoo and conditioner, it will be absolutely no surprise to you that I used my absolute favourite, Function of Beauty. I've been working with these guys and using these products for years now. <laughs> these are two fresh bottles that literally arrived last week. So I'm very happy that I have these because mine are like this at the minute. I feel like a lot of you already know about Function of Beauty because you have been following me and hearing me talk about them for those years. <laughs> for any of you that don't know, uh, Function Beauty is a custom hair care brand using really high quality ingredients. You can go online and do a very quick quiz to dictate exactly what it is that you want to target on your hair. You can select your hair type. You can select your hair goals. For example, mine are anti-frizz, color protection, hydrate, replenish hair, and thermal protection. And those are kind of my go-to, but I do feel like it's worth pointing out that if you already love and use Function of Beauty, um, when it's like this time of year, it might be quite nice to change out one of your goals to anti-frizz, for example, or if you've just had your hair colored, you might wanna pop in color protection, um, and you can just go in and customize your subscription. Um, so I feel like because I'm quite regular with my hair and I get it colored a lot and <laughs> bleached. Um, I like to make sure I keep in the color protection and the anti-frizz. I actually think anti-frizz is gonna be on my side today because this humidity is gonna have me looking like Monica from Friends otherwise. <laughs> the bottles also come with your name on it. You get a little pack of stickers that you can customize your bottles with um, and you can pick the scent and the color as well. So if that sounds like a bit of you and you wanna give Function of Beauty a try, then click the link in my description box, which will get you 25% off your first custom 16 ounce set plus free shipping when you become a member. And I highly recommend you do it. It is the only shampoo and conditioner I will ever use on my hair. I love it so much. Moving on to skincare, I have already cleansed my face. So I'm gonna do a little bit of toner. This is actually, a new toner of a toner I've already used up. This is the um, Water Bank by Laneige. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's a hyaluronic revitalizing toner. Um, and I bought one of these a couple of months ago and I've used it all up and I really enjoyed using it. So I have reordered it. I know that not everyone has a toner in their um, skincare routine, but I, feel weird if I don't do it like I feel like it really my skin really likes a toner and it's one of those things that if I get a bit lazy with my skincare routine and I take it out I really notice that I've taken it out <laughs> next up I'm gonna use a little bit of the Glow Recipe Guava Vitamin C Dark Spot Serum which is to brighten an even tone um, I've been using this a I don't know if you saw that, you probably didn't. It just squirted out all over my leg. Um, in terms of serums, I've actually been using quite a few different ones, depending on my mood, or what I feel like I need to do that day. But right now, the kind of like dark spot, uneven pigmentation is where I'm gearing towards. Then I'm gonna put on a little eye cream, but I can't actually share with you what eye cream it is because I'm actually testing it 
for a brand right now um, and really loving it actually um, but I'm gonna pop my eye cream on after last night is so needed because I did not sleep very well at all because it is just so hot <laughs> um, I don't know if anyone else struggles to sleep in this heat but yeah I found it very hard um, and I would like get comfy and fall asleep and then I would wake up and be like oh my god I'm so uncomfortable and I'm so hot and I'm so sweaty <laughs> and then constantly be like putting the cover up and then throwing the cover off uh, moisturizer I am still loving this which is the youth to the people superfood air whip moisture cream kale and spinach and hyaluronic acid i love this moisturizer i don't know what it is i think it's that it sinks in really quickly that i love um and i i don't know it feels very thirst quenching smells lovely and i feel like it makes my skin look quite like glowy i also think my makeup sits quite nicely on top of it as well i'm actually really enjoying this brand in particular i bought a couple of other bits from this brand too which i'm just like trying out um a few of them are kind of like night creams though so um yeah i'm really enjoying it i'm gonna let that sink in for a minute then i'm going in with my spf this one is the la roche posay anthelios uv 400 ultimate protection 50 plus This one is quite a liquidy uh, one, but um, I really like the La Roche-Posay. Uh, I get very um, streamy eyes when I put SPF on, so I really have to use an SPF that does not um, interfere with my eyes. I think I just must have quite sensitive eyes. <laughs> and it's really annoying because I'll see like a new SPF and be like, oh, I'm gonna give that a try. And then half an hour later, all my eye makeup is just running down my face. Um, so if you have any suggestions for SPFs that do not um, interfere with your eyes, let me know. Because, yeah, I'm always always on the lookout. But this one, generally the La Roche, La Roche Posay ones, don't, um, they don't really bother my eyes too much. Makeup wise. I'm gonna do quite a light makeup look today. I think I'm gonna go cream and I'm gonna, oh my God, I, I'm actually sweating. What is the temp, the current temp? 35 degrees Celsius. That's hot. No wonder I feel a little sweaty. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna just do a little bit of cream. I don't wanna put too much makeup on today because as I've said, it's hot. I just, I don't know how it's gonna last. Although I am heading into the office and we have very good air con there. So all I have to do is walk to my car and then from my car to the office. Um, so I should be fine. Uh, I've been really loving this. This is one of those things I keep in my makeup bag that I absolutely love. And this time of year, I always whip it out and I just think it makes my skin look really lovely. Um, it's the Vita Liberata Beauty Blur Skin Tone Optimizer. I think I'm gonna put this on with concealer, so I don't think I'm gonna do any kind of like CC cream, because this is the one I would usually reach for, which is the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream. But I don't think I wanna put a full coverage cream on today. I think I'm gonna do some concealer dotting and then this to make my skin kind of a little bit more even and glowy. In terms of concealer, I'm doing something wild. I'm using a different one. I know. Um, I ordered these. These are the Huda Beauty, um, what are they called? Faux Filter Luminous Matte Concealers. I never know what shade I am, so I always end up just ordering like so many different <laughs> variations. I feel like this looks way too light. Let's see. I think for under the eyes, it's not half bad, to be honest. This one looks lighter, but it's actually darker. All still quite light. I would say all still not really my skin tone, but they have so many shades. So, okay, this one's a bit darker. That's probably better. 
we'll just mix it in. That'll do. I'm gonna blend with my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. Still love this. I would say that last one was definitely a better shade for me. But I do quite like to go a bit lighter under the eyes just to brighten them a bit. Okay, first observation. Too light. Second observation. Let's go in with the darkest one. Second observation. This is pigmented. Very, very pigmented. If you like a very pigmented found, um, concealer, then this is for you. I actually quite like it. The ultimate test, though, is whether it stays on. Okay, this is looking very light. I'm gonna put some of this on, but naturally my face is definitely paler than my body, so we don't have to panic too much at this stage. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of the blur on. Probably should have done it the other way around, but never mind. I am now gonna even out my face and my body with the um, Chanel Cream Bronze. And I'm just going to use this brush. I really love these brushes. These are the Katie Jane Hughes and Spectrum collection. This cream blush is my fave. I always come back to this. Okay. We are a bit more evened out. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to use a tiny bit of this. This is the Rare Beauty um, Liquid Blush in Hope. This is pigmented. You literally need the smallest amount. Nice. I'm gonna use the Rare Beauty Highlighter. This is in the shade Mesmerize. Again, very pigmented. Now I'm going to do my brows, just using my little angled brush. I'm just gonna fill in the gaps. As always, I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. Then I'm using a new product, which I have not used before, but I just ordered. This is the Too Faced Fluff and Hold Laminating Brow Wax. So I'm gonna give this a try. Fluff and Hold, I liked the sound of. It's not bad. The only thing that I would say is it got very waxy very quickly. So I think you can only really do like one quite light coat through your brows and then stop. <laughs> Don't keep trying to add more because um, that's just what I tried to do. Oh, it's now 36 degrees outside. Slash blowing in my face from the outside. <laughs> um, I'm using uh, the Soft Glam Anastasia palette this palette is a total mess. I basically need to get a new palette, but I really love the burnt orange colour, um, which is actually what I'm going to just wash over my lid. That'll do. And then I have a new mascara to try. This is by Wonder Beauty and it's called Mile High Club Volume and Length Mascara. I bought this on Cult Beauty. Sometimes I like to just look through Cult Beauty at the things that have really great reviews and then I just order them and see if I like them. Uh, this was one of those. It was kind of like a mixed opinion. I feel like if you love quite a clumpy thick mascara then you'll probably like it or at least that's what I gathered from the reviews and if you don't like that then it seemed as though you wouldn't like it. But I love mascaras like that. I love tubing mascaras. I love mascaras that like feel like they've already been opened for three months when you first use them as opposed to in three months time. So um, let's see how this goes. Oh, I like. Okay, I really like that. I don't know if you can see. Maybe I'll do a little zoom. But I feel like my lashes are 
thick, voluminous, but they're not all like clumped together. So that's, that's a good mascara in my opinion. Am I crazy for putting mascara on my bottom lashes today? Probably, just lips left now. And I'm definitely gonna use my trusted Tarte lip paint today because this is, once this is on, it's on. <laughs> and that is what you need. Speaking of lip colors, guys, the other day, I was at a Charlotte Tilbury counter and I thought, I'm gonna rebuy the Glastonbury lipstick. Now, if you've been here a while, you will know how much I loved the Glastonbury lip. I loved it for autumn. It was like the perfect deep berry shade. And I was at the counter and I was looking and I was like, it's not here. There is no Glastonbury. So was it a limited edition? Have they renamed it? I need the answers. I should probably just DM them and be like, guys, where's Glastonbury gone? <laughs> um, but yeah, I was most sad about that because that is a lip colour, like a staple lip colour in my lipstick collection. And the only reason I wanted to get a new one was that I'd had it for a bit too long and I just thought, mm, I feel like I really need a new, a new version of this because it's been in my makeup bag for far too long. Um, and yeah, gutted. It's not there. Unless this particular counter didn't have it. To be fair, I haven't checked online. Maybe it's like an online only thing. But yeah, I was very sad about that. I was actually talking with someone in a meeting yesterday who um, like used to watch my videos and she was talking about the Rimmel 107 lipstick and how she used to like, her and her friends used to buy it and they used to wear it all the time. And I still stand by the fact that that is a classic, beautiful red lipstick. And I, again, I need to go to a Rimmel counter and see if it's still there, but if it is, I'm repurchasing it because that was such a good lipstick. The only thing about it was I think the lasting power wasn't great. Like that was like, you need a lip liner with that one. But the Rimmel 107, who else was here for the Rimmel 107 days? <laughs> Let me know. Um, right, time to do my hair. It's already feeling very sleek and like lovely, even just after washing and blow drying. But. I would like some style in it. So, I don't know how I'm gonna do this because I do need a mirror. Let's see if I can put you like down here. You're gonna have a bit of a dodgy angle of this, but I think it will work. Do you know what that's just reminded me to do? An Urban Decay All Nighter spray because this is required today. <laughs> uh, right. Let's get this on. Just cover the cover the hair. So with these short bits, I generally do like one twist down because I kind of want the ends to be a bit more straight, but I do want there to be a slight, you know, curl in there. So I generally curl then pull. I don't take too long on it. Oh, it's very hot to be doing this. But it's hair wash day and once I've done it now, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I wanna, I kind of wanna like do it so it's nice for a couple of days. See, these under bits are a bit harder because they're so much shorter. So I don't ever really know what to do with these. Okay, first layer done. <laughs> I'm just going to do two layers today. Normally I do it in three, but not today, Satan. I am done. Might um, pop a little bit of hairspray in it, give it a little comb through, um, but yeah, I am ready. And then my jumpsuit, let me step back so you can see it. This is from ASOS and I love it. It is so um, like flattering, like the shape and it ties up on here. I'll see if they still have it in stock and 
I'll link it below if they have, but it zips up at the back and yeah I've just got like a strapless bra underneath it's just very cute and it's very thin and perfect for this weather I'm gonna go and put some jewelry on and then I will share with you what jewelry I am putting on and then I'm pretty much ready for the day I'm now in the like bedroom slash dressing room and I'm gonna carry on with the theme and I'm actually gonna use my Nivea um my Nivea Sun perfume because it's just the best and on a day like this smelling of sun cream it's pretty apt but <laughs> these hoops annoyingly i actually have no idea where these are from it's really hard with earrings once you've bought earrings because they generally don't really have branding on them and then rings i feel like this is the exciting part because i just love rings um this one is a Carrie Elizabeth. I basically just wear a lot of Carrie Elizabeth jewellery and then I have like some other kind of sentimental pieces on here. This one here is a gold band with little like star diamonds. That one's Carrie Elizabeth. And then this one Alfie bought me and this is from a brand called Simuro. I don't know if I'm saying that right but I can leave a link. And it has a little peridot uh, gemstone which is Otty's birthstone. And then this is a little chuppy um, signet pinky ring. And then on this side, we have another Carrie Elizabeth. And this one is uh, a Rat Betty that Alfie bought me. Uh, I think it was for Mother's Day, but he actually bought this after we'd had our first scan with Otty where we heard her heartbeat. Um, and it's a tiny little heart. So yes, Alfie is basically the most um sentimental romantic gift giver ever which is very hard to live up to quite a lot of lovely rings and that's all i'm going for i've got no necklace on today shoes wise i'm gonna put my black birkenstocks on um and my bag is like a big straw bag from zara but you'll see that in a minute i actually look like i'm going to the beach <laughs> <laughs> but I'm actually going to the office. These glasses I bought in Workshop in Brighton. Love those. And then my bag is a Zara. Got my laptop in there. And that's me done. And then my Burks. But I hope you enjoyed this little get ready with me. I just thought it was something a little different to do. Um, I do actually have um, some kind of vlog snippets from the last couple of weeks. Um, so that will probably be going up next week at some point but um yeah i hope you enjoyed and i hope you're staying sane and safe in this heat and that you're not too hot and bothered <laughs> um sending lots of love and i will see you soon